I feel that what is happening today is that to a certain extent we have been pushed outside enterprises. It's stormy, it's rainy, it's windy, it's a nasty weather. The only difference today is that people are asking us, please enjoy it, please sing. So why competitiveness? Well, for a very simple reason. I think competitiveness is one of the fundamental force of economics, like to a certain extent. Gravity is a fundamental force to physics. Nobody can escape it. If you are a nation, you need to be competitive to sustain your standard of living. If you are a company, you need it to survive. And if you are an individual, indeed, you need to be competitive in order to justify to have a job. However, one of the biggest issues about competitiveness is to define it. We are in the country of Switzerland, as you know, and we have been uh, hosting Albert Einstein for many years. He was employed in the patent office in Bern, and which means that we always have a long tradition of employing the right people in the right place. And, um, and he, when he became famous with a special relativity, he used to have a nightmare. And he says, you know, whenever I go in a cocktail party, I always have one of those old ladies grabbing me and asking me, Professor Einstein, tell me more about special relativity. And he says, what can I say in a cocktail party? But what it means, it means that whatever you are doing in life, you should always have a cocktails party definition for everything. Three words you will give to somebody, and then you will get out of it very quickly. My cocktails party definition of competitiveness is the one you see here superior value creation, value for the customer, of course, and if you get this under control, then you will get the profits, then you will get the market share, and then you will get the duration. Let's not forget that about 90% of the US companies which were listed on the stock exchange in Wall Street in 1949 have disappeared today. The average life of a company is no more than 50 years. There are exceptions, of course. Now, uh, let's look at the definition of the job of competitiveness, twofold. You have to use the two sides of your brain. Number one, the imaginative part of the brain, which is how are we going to make our revenues in five years from now? How are we going to make money in the future? And the second part of the brain, which is a rational one, is how can we improve the cost efficiency and the value creation of what we are doing? How can we make sure that we get the right productivity? This is the old job. Nothing has changed. What has changed in the environment with two things. Number one, the big change is the pace of change. Things are going much faster today than they have ever been going before, and this is something new. And the second thing is, of course, the pressure for performance. We are all under massive pressure for performance, and every time we succeed to do something, somebody comes after us and tells us it's very good, it's very well, but frankly, can't you do a little bit better now? And it is like in the Olympic game, when you jump above, you know, the stick, the spools, whenever you did it well, the reward is that the next year, they put it five centimeters a bit higher. So, the real issue is to find out why are we in this world of pressure on change and pressure on performance. I think the single most important things to remember is that the world is open today, and this has been the biggest change in the past 15 to 20 years.